What's up guys, Silver here with another Spartan Assault Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Terminated, which is Complete Operation E. Some general tips if you're having trouble with any of the missions throughout the game is to put on some boosters or get better weapons to start the mission. And to do that, you want to select the mission you want to do, and then you'll come to this screen, the Armory. And as you can see, it shows your loadout where you're going to start the mission with. So you have your primary weapon, secondary weapon, armor ability, and booster. So you can see I clicked on my primary weapon, which was an assault rifle, but we could upgrade it to a sniper, a Spartan laser, or a rocket launcher. And the way you could do that is by using... XP that you've gathered by playing the game just naturally over time, and you could uh, select better weapons and boosters and everything uh, before you start a mission if you're having trouble with a particular mission. So same thing with the secondary weapon, we could upgrade that to any of those weapons as well. And then you have your armor ability, which you could change. In the video here, it's showing regen field as the default armor ability, but that will change based on whatever mission you're playing. But we could actually change it to an auto sentry, overshield, or seeker drone. And then also the booster we could change to a shield booster, damage booster, or score booster. I would recommend a damage booster if you're having trouble. Um, it makes your weapons more powerful no matter what they are. So it's easier to just tear through the enemies and that obviously makes it way less likely that they'll be able to kill you. And you can also see that my profile allows for one free use of some of these items because of the fact that I got certain achievements in Halo 4. But for someone that has never played Halo 4, that will not be available unfortunately. So now that that's out of the way, a general tip for shooting is to just simply use both joysticks. One controls where you're moving, and you could still shoot with just that one joystick, but it is way less accurate than if you use both joysticks. The only downside is you actually move slower if you're using both joysticks, so just throwing that out there. I know some people have trouble with this game, but it's much easier if you're aware of that. So with that in mind, let's get into it. Here we go, mission E1. We're going to start off by running past most of the enemies. You do start off with active camo as an armor ability, but I don't use it just yet. I like to just run past these guys, just taunt them with my total uh, visible body here. We're going to use it just in a little bit, though. Uh, so just run past these guys. There's some invisible elites. Uh, you can see I'm taking some damage, but I cloak myself right about here, and it's very consistent. You could always make it to this point without uh, dying. And you cloak yourself right about where I did, and you want to run right to this wraith, and hopefully you can make it to the wraith before that elite does. You can see he was running right to it. But worst case scenario, if he beats you to it, just wait for him to hop in, and then you can just hijack him real quick. And as you can see I'm doing here, we're just kind of going around in a circle. Uh, there's a big clearing in the middle of this area where the wraith is. So we could kill a bunch of the enemies in the area. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now, just mopping up the area before I hop out of the Wraith. And uh, there's a bunch of sword-wielding invisible elites, so you want to be aware of those guys. They kind of hang out on the outskirts of this uh, clearing here in the middle of the map. So be sure that you kill all of them before you hop out, or sometimes you may find that uh, you accidentally didn't kill them all, so when you hop out, one will charge your position. Uh, but then obviously just hop back in the Wraith and take them out real quick. And you could either shoot your Wraith Mortar or you could splatter them. And then we're going to hop out once we uh, think everything's clear. And we're going to cloak ourselves as we run up to this turret. And we're going to hijack the turret and just turn it against all the enemies in this little area. And once all these guys are dead, you have to move up towards the top of the map. There's a nav point, the final area you have to go to. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies that pop out of the shield door up here once you get up there. So you could decide to come back here to the turret and just lay into these guys as they spawn into the map up top. Uh, you can't really see them. You could take them out, even though they're off screen and you can't see them. Uh, you can see I just got some kills there. So you could hang back here if you want uh, to be super safe. But you're pretty much just shooting blindly over there. You could see them on your radar, so you have a general idea of where to shoot. Uh, but obviously, it's kind of tough to uh, pick these guys off without seeing them. But you can see I'm doing a pretty decent job. So just shoot in that general direction just to be super safe if you want to hang back here with the turret. Uh, but obviously, if you want to be more aggressive, if you uh, think you got the skills to take a mono e alien o uh, just run up there and you could throw grenades at them. You could uh, shoot them with your guns. Obviously, we got some SMGs and a Magnum here. So this last guy, I decide I'm going to take him out personally with my guns and grenades here. So another option would be to come up here and then retreat back to the turret. So you get them to kind of follow you and then you could get in the turret again. But we're moving on to the next mission here. We're going to run down to the bottom of the map to start. We're going to grab nades right there on the way. Some more nades right here. And at the bottom of the map, you could see there's a ghost here. It's pretty damaged to start. It starts off with about three-eighths of its health, but that is plenty for what we need it for. When you do get the ghost, you want to bring it up to the top of the map where you started the mission. Uh, this is where you spawned in, and this is where the engineer up there, he's trying to fix that phantom so you could get away. He has a health bar, so if he dies, then the mission is over and you have to start over. So you want to protect him at all costs, and I'm just going to shoot down range for the duration of the mission because we have infinite ammo, so you might as well. And you can see I'm going to be taking out a lot of people uh, that I can't even see. So that is an ideal situation where you're killing them before they're even a threat, before you could even see them, before they could even really see you. Uh, they don't have a chance to shoot at you or throw a grenade at you. And speaking of grenades, that is your biggest threat really because uh, you start off with uh, a low health ghost. 
So one grenade stick could be the end of you. So you want to make sure that you dodge all those or just don't allow them to throw a grenade uh, by not allowing them to get close to you. But you can see here I'm mostly shooting uh, down the middle for the most part. Uh, if I can't see anybody, I like to shoot down the middle uh, to the left of that barricade, which I'm doing right now because that's where a lot of enemies come from. And if they don't come from there, they come from uh, my left. So you can see where that uh, grunt popped up right there. So those are the two areas they generally uh, spawn in from or walk into uh, your field of view from. And the reason I like to mostly focus on shooting down the middle is because if enemies come into my field of view from that uh, point, they actually are a little bit closer than the enemies that come into my field of view uh, from my left where uh, that elite just spawned. So I have a little bit more time to react to the enemies coming from my left and I have less time to react to the enemies coming uh, right down the middle. So if I had to pick one, I'd rather cut off the enemies that are going to be ending up a little bit closer to me, and then I could react to the enemies that are appearing a little bit further away from me. But we're about halfway through this mission at this point. It starts off with about four minutes on the timer in the top middle of my screen, and we're about two minutes in now. Uh, so we're basically just holding out for as long as possible, four minutes ideally, and then we could escape with our uh, newly repaired Phantom. But basically the same old thing, we're just shooting down range, killing all the enemies as far away from us as possible. We don't want them to get too close. And uh, just pretty much rinse and repeat. Just keep killing these guys. One thing you want to definitely do, though, is uh, kind of keep your ghost in a position where it could go in any direction. You don't really want to be up against a wall, uh, like the wall to my right, or you don't want to be kind of backed up with the, uh, the barricade on your butt because that just limits the amount of uh, evasive maneuvers you could take. Obviously, if a uh, grenade comes your way, you want to be able to dodge it in either direction, or not either direction. There's more than two directions. You want to be able to go left, right, back, forward. Uh, anything you could do to keep your mobility as high as possible is a good thing. You want to be able to have options. You don't want to back yourself into a corner, quite literally. But we're almost there. One minute left. Uh, another thing I should mention is you don't really want to move forward too much. You kind of want to hang back where I'm hanging back. Uh, that is because there is a turret that fires on the lower section of this level. So if you're just uh, spawn killing them at the shield door, that would be fine and it might be a viable option. But the fact that that turret is firing at the lower part of the map means it may just come in and destroy you just randomly. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're back here where the turret does not fire at you. This isn't the best run because my uh, ghost is actually taking a lot of damage here from uh, these focus rifles and plasma repeaters that these elites are carrying in at me. But obviously, if your ghost is super weak, uh, you probably want to ditch it at a certain point. If the ghost I'm in takes any more damage, I would probably just bail and uh, try to finish the mission on foot. Because I don't want to risk taking any more fire and then having this thing blow up. But it's about that time anyway. We got 10 seconds left, so I'm just going to hop out of this thing in a hot second. And we are going to uh, lay down some fire bombs Because we do have fire bombs from when we started the mission. We didn't use them yet. So it's a nice uh, way to kind of make a final barricade that makes it tougher for any of these remaining enemies to come at you while you're boarding the Phantom. And we hopped on, and we're out of here. We're on to mission E3. So we'll kick that off in a hot second. Here we go. This mission is also pretty easy, like the uh, other mission, E1, that we started this uh, video with. This is one where you could uh, just hop in Wraith and kill everybody in the mission, really, with that Wraith. But to start off, we're going to kill all these enemies down here on foot because you can't really reach these guys with the Wraith. And you need to clear out the whole uh, mission of enemies for it to complete. So we're just going to run around and kill these Jackals. They're easy enough because they're not really condensed in one area. They're kind of uh, separated, so it's easy enough to deal with them. Kind of a divide and conquer scenario here. But eventually there are some bigger enemies that come through the shield door here. So you want to watch out for those guys. You can see the invisible elite with a sword came through and now a brute chieftain. So we'll just uh, take him out from far away. We don't want to get too close to that guy with his hammer. Then we'll just take out the remaining jackals. Uh, there's an elite charging the area, but that's okay. We know how to deal with them. Remember, you have active camo to start this mission, so you could always uh, cloak yourself uh, before engaging an enemy, so you could take them off guard, or you could cloak yourself kind of defensively if you find yourself losing a battle and you need to run away to get your shield back. You could just cloak yourself and run away and safely do that. But once we take out that lower... Uh, area of enemies we'll just run over here cloak yourself while you're getting close to the uh the wraith here and then you can just hop in and we're literally just going to stay in this thing for the rest of the mission the one thing uh you want to watch out for is those suicide grunts you can see i took one out that was running down at me from this uh, upper shield door those are your biggest threats really um are those guys because obviously if they get too close they can do a lot of damage real quick but other than that just watch your radar um 
Unfortunately, the people that come through the shield door don't come through all at once, so they kind of uh, space out when they come through the shield door, so it's always something you want to keep your eye on. Keep your eye on that radar. So now we see more coming through. I'll turn my attention up there. More suicide grunts, like I mentioned. Uh, obviously, the second biggest threat uh, to suicide grunts is just enemies sticking you uh, with a plasma grenade manually. You could say, I guess it's, I guess they're both manually suicide grunts and uh, just throwing it at you, but you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, they'll just spawn out of this turret, this giant mega turret. They'll keep coming out of that little shield door, and once you see there's a brute chieftain, uh, that is the end of the mission, really. Uh, then we just have to clear out the remaining enemies. There's a brute chieftain that comes in from that turret, and a brute chieftain that comes from the upper shield door, and that is all she wrote for that mission, so. Starting off this mission, we immediately want to go up and to the left because there's a ghost up here, and sometimes an elite likes to run right at it, and you can see that's what he does here, uh, but we could just hijack him real quick if he does do that, and if not, we could just get in the ghost ourselves and then take him out uh, with the ghost, either by shooting him or splattering him. But you can see I exchanged my uh, armor ability right there for active camouflage, so we're going to use that later. But now that we have the ghost, we can ignore the grunts that started off this mission behind us. And we're just going to take these guys out with the ghost. There is going to be a gold elite right here. So that's one of the six elites we need to take out to finish this mission. So we'll take him out easily enough with the ghost. Be aware that there's a bunch of wraiths and ghosts and shade turrets in this mission. So uh, I'm going to hijack one of the wraiths like so. Just cloak yourself when you get close to one. And then you'll have an easy time hijacking it. That's what we're going to do here. We're just going to upgrade our firepower from a ghost to a wraith. And a good strategy with the Wraith is to just continuously shoot the plasma turret on the front of it, the smaller gun, because there's no reason not to. I'm not doing it here, but you might as well. Uh, that way you could more easily take out enemies as they appear on screen. Uh, you're shooting them faster. Um, so then you could take them out quicker, and they're less likely to kill you. But I'm not taking my own advice, apparently, sometimes. But we're just going to continue taking out all these guys. You could see uh, the Wraith could take a lot of damage before you're at risk of dying. So we're just going to push forward. We took out that second gold elite. Uh, again, there's a bunch of wraiths and ghosts in the area, so just be aware of that. Uh, try not to get yourself surrounded. Kind of zigzag your way through the mission so you could clear everything out so you're never kind of stuck with a bunch of enemies surrounding you. You always want a way to uh, back up and retreat. But we took out that third elite as well easily enough. Our wraith is getting pretty uh, unhealthy, though, at this point. We have about a quarter of our health left. There's a bunch of drones that fly up over this cliff for a while, so we'll just sit here and take these guys out for a little bit. Get our score up. Why not? Our multi-kills are increasing. Our power is rising. But we're just going to keep going. Get that killionaire. Very nice. And uh, they're just making it easy for us. They're like, they're literally bugs splattering on our windshield. Alright, now we're moving on to the next part. Uh, more ghosts, shades, wraiths, same old thing. Our wraith is very weak at this point, though, so we're going to be a little more careful. Shoot these guys from further away. Keep our distance. And what's that? Another Wraith for me? I think so. Uh, obviously, if you find yourself in this position as well with a very weak Wraith, you could just hop out and hijack one of the other ones like we did in the beginning of the mission. Just get close-ish and then cloak yourself, and then you could just walk up to the Wraith easily and hijack that guy. And uh, this guy is not fully healthy, but he's much more healthy than our prior Wraith. So this is an upgrade. And we'll use said upgrade to continue our swath of destruction. So we'll just keep laying into these guys. Uh, we're at the end of the portion where we could actually take a vehicle. So even though this only has half the health uh, that I would like it to have, uh, we're at the end anyway. So we got to bail out of this guy in a second. So even though we can't go any further with the Wraith, I'm still going to use it to clear out all the enemies in the area. There's some jackals. Some elites may move up. Uh, there's also some buggers that pop out of the holes in the ground here. So take those guys out before you uh, step out of your Wraith. And then we're going to use our active camo once again. Uh, I was not 100% sure if I couldn't bring my ghost over here. I'm like, wait, I know I can't do a wraith. Could I do a ghost? The answer is no, Silver. Get out of that thing. Grab some nades, and uh, we're going to use our active camo to skip all the enemies. This is a more aggressive approach. So I was hoping I could cloak myself and then uh, nade the elites real quick. There's two remaining gold elites, so I did do that for one. Uh, I couldn't get at the other one. He was behind a turret. But this guy decided to chase me to this plasma turret. So we'll just uh, hop in that turret, take him out real quick. And that was more aggressive. Uh, you could obviously just take out the enemies more slowly. And now onto the final mission in this operation, E5. Starting off, there's a bunch of jackals and an elite, so we could take all those guys out with one brute shot round each. Uh, if you get them close enough, you could even take out multiple people with one round, like right there. And then this last guy, I'm just going to save some ammo and smack this guy to death. 
And then we're just going to grab as many nades as possible. There's a crate of nades right there, and also some of the enemies you just killed may have dropped some. Then we're going to use said nades to throw at the enemies as they come through the shield door. So we killed two of the three right there with that one nade. We'll smack this guy to death. And then there will be some more enemies that come through. We'll throw another nade at them. As they come through, here they come. And there's actually three elites that come through the door right there. So stuck one, shot the other with a brute shot, and this invisible elite with a sword could take some more shots than just the one brute shot. He has a lot of health. Then we're just going to allow this big bad boss elite to come through the door and we'll shoot him in the back for as long as we can because he always goes to that pedestal so we can get a lot of damage on him before he even has a chance to retaliate. And you can see I switched to a needler because my brute shot was empty, so we're pretty much going to use a needler for the remainder of the mission here. Uh, you could pretty easily take out uh, the first health bar of this guy. Uh, and then we're going to move down here. There's a bunch of jackal reinforcements that come from the bottom of the map. So we'll take these guys out as they move up here. They're easy enough to take out with needlers, and it's great because they have needlers themselves, so you never really run out of ammo with the needler. One of the big reasons why we're using a needler here. And then this guy goes uh, crazy with two swords, and he cloaks himself as well. So just shoot at him with the needler until he gets close to you, and then just run away. Remember that you have sprint to start this mission, so you could always just sprint away if he gets too close, like so. He will continue to try to sword you, so just sprint, turn around, shoot him, continue sprinting away. He goes back to his little pedestal and divides into four people somehow, some way. And then we'll just uh, take out these jackals. I forgot that he uh, splits up into four, so I threw a nade at him hoping I was going to kill him. Uh, that was not the case, but that's alright, we have plenty of grenades here. Uh, you do actually want to have a bunch of grenades for this final uh, health bar of his because he has a hard light shield. So if you shoot at him, he'll just, you know, pop up the hard light shield and block a lot of your shots, most of your shots. So if you just throw three grenades at him, he can't really block that at all with his hard light shield. And uh, that's it. He's dead. So we just want to take out these jackals uh, in the area because we don't want to die. So as he's collapsing to the ground dramatically, I'll just uh, take those guys out before... The game prompts me to pick up that pistol and shoot him in the back of the head, and that is it. We have taken out the elite cult leader, and that is the end of that mission and that operation, so I'll see you in Operation F. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.